What is up guys, Archon Tanami bringing bring you guys another YouTube video. This one was a special request. But anyway, for those who aren't aware, uh, on the PS, I would say not the PlayStation version, but the PC version of uh, Final Fantasy IX, you can actually skip some bosses, and it's only on the PC version. And the reason why it's PC only is because, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, there is a program called Joy2Key. And what Joy2Key does is basically it allows you to input a bunch of inputs within one second, which is basically one frame. And you can actually menu buffer to skip boss triggers on the map that Zidane walks over. So, to show you guys a little bit of how this program works. So basically what you want to do is you want to plug your controller and make sure it's working, then turn on Joy to Key. And when you push buttons, you should see button 2, button 3, button 4, all this stuff like light up. So what you want to make sure is whatever your menu button is, you want to push that and see what button that's lighting up. And then you click on it. And then you come in and program it to, let's say, whatever the keyboard equivalent is if you're playing on DS4 tool. So in this case, V is considered triangle, which is menu. But that's what I have it set to. Crap, my controller just disconnected. Uh, hopefully it doesn't hurt anything. But anyway, you want to hit auto repeat 30 times per second. And then you want to have a 700 millisecond delay. And you want to check start auto repeat after a certain delay. And the reason why you want to do this is because if you don't do this, what happens is, is you can't menu for the rest of the game. Like, whenever you hit triangle or circle or anything, like, it just freaks out and it'll cancel the menu and you can't access your menu for equips or anything like that. But with a 700 millisecond delay, it takes, obviously, time for the game to recognize, hey, or the program to recognize, hey, he wants to get into the menu and he wants to cancel the menu. Otherwise, you just keep menu buffering. And then you hit circle or whatever your cancel button's going to be. So in this case, it's button 2, and that's programmed to C on the keyboard. So auto-repeat 30 seconds, 700 second millisecond delay and you're good to go. You can actually put put it on the other two joysticks. Uh, this is like an alternate input. I think you push like L2 or something on your controller and then you can access it. So that's one way of getting around it. I personally don't like to do this because sometimes it doesn't work. When you're pushing three keys and, or three buttons on your controller at the same time, it will miss an input. And next thing you know, you're fighting a boss you're trying to skip. So I just prefer to do this with the 700 millisecond delay. So let's go ahead and uh, minimize this since I explained how that works. And let's go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about here. I don't know... Oh! Okay. So uh, I just have to reload the save file. Sorry about that. I thought for sure it would load me back in uh, on the other side of him. But that's what it looks like when you do it correctly. You end up on the other side of the boss. Uh, there is going to be some counting here. Bear with me. I have to count the number of, step number of steps that I take. What the heck? Okay, what... Okay. That was weird. For some reason, both Circle and X were both reading uh, at... Then I loaded the wrong file. Anyway, for some reason, both Circle and X were reading as confirm inputs. Or, sorry, cancel inputs. Press again. I apologize. We're having some technical difficulties here. Nothing new for the YouTube videos. Uh, bear with me, but at least you guys know how the tool works. Oh my gosh, can I please, please navigate? Uh... Pick this the crash light. There we go. Hopefully you enjoy the uh, Final Fantasy VIII music that's remixed. I swear this is the same track that's used at uh, Galbadia Garden when you first get there and you're in the waiting room. It's just remixed a little bit. Oh, of course, we're going to get a random encounter. Don't mind this guy. Normally you take the encounter anyway on this route, I believe. You have to take one encounter here to help make up the XP differences, or the AP differences. Because you're going to be missing out on AP normally. Because you're not going to fight Prison Cage and you're not going to fight the bosses in Memoria. So to get some abilities learned, you're going to have to take some encounters along the way. Which, depending on how long it, on the Steam version it takes you to get those encounters, can lose or gain time. So, okay. He's in trouble. I think it's like right about here. So now, since I explained how this works, I'm going to hold triangle for my menu. And then I'm going to hold circle. Okay, it didn't take. Do it again. Okay, it's not taking again. There it goes. So you always want to make sure that this starts happening first. Because if... What the heck? It just cancelled out again. That's weird. Usually if it, this is doing this, it shouldn't cancel out unless you're, my controller is disconnecting. But anyway, once you get to this state, you just keep holding triangle and you hold circle. You don't let him go at all. And you try to get this to happen. If this doesn't happen and what happened to me the first two times does, you need to hold triangle again. Hold circle and try to get this result. Because uh, if you don't and you walk forward, you will trigger the boss fight. 
But what you do now, you can actually move during this if you hold up. So we're going to hold up now. And every time the screen goes black, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the reason we're counting is because that's how many steps we're taking inside of the menu buffer. Because, like I said, Zidane is actually moving forward during this. You want, I think, roughly 20 to be safe on Prison Cage. Uh, if you actually take the time to learn where the fight triggers at, I think it's 15 for Prison Cage. I actually had this all mapped out before. Uh, I figured out what the least amount of steps was back when uh, back in, I think, February. I don't remember now. I think I have it listed in a notepad. I can uh, show you guys what I've got. Or I can upload it in the comments section once I find it for you guys. But anyway, you would just keep counting. Except up to about 20 to 25 if you want to be safe. That way you don't come out on top of Prison Cage. Uh, as long as you're lined up straight, you should walk right past him. Okay, we should be good now. Okay. Cool. And we've skipped the Prison Cage boss fight. So what this means is that throughout the game, we won't have access to Trance. Because Trance is used during this fight and it's learned during this fight. And there's no way for you to get it back. Uh, certain scenes with like Steiner and Beatrix, it will still trigger during disc 3 but you don't actually get access to Trance from it triggering this 3. Uh, which is kind of interesting. I thought for sure that when Steiner goes into it on that disc that it would cause the game to recognize that the flag was missing for Trance and give it to everybody, but I guess this is where you learn it, so... Eh, I guess you miss out. Uh, Vivi also gets it still in the boss fight with the Black Waltz, so you don't have to worry about that. That still happens because it's a storyline trigger scene where he's automatically starts the battle with Trance. But as you can see, we can just walk past, and we don't have to deal with the Prison Cage. The other implications for Disc 1, what this means is that you cannot steal the Broadsword from Prison Cage, obviously, since we don't fight him. You actually have to buy your sword at the vendor in the town up ahead. Uh, the Black Mage, I can't think of what it's called. Uh, I, I can't, I'm drawing a blank on what the village is called. But it's the one after the Ice Village, or the, the Ice Village, the Ice Cavern. Uh, like I said, you can do the skip. Prison Cage, you can do it on all four Memoria bosses, actually all five Memoria bosses, you can skip the four Fiends and Death Guys as well. And the only thing you fight on Disc 4 is Nova Dragon, and Trans Kuja and the final boss, Necron. So you only fight three bosses on Disc 4 and it's a big time save. Like I said, this is only for PC, cannot do it on the PlayStation as far as I'm aware, even with a Turbo Controller. Uh, if anybody can correct me on that and let me know, I'm pretty sure you can't do it on the PlayStation version. Uh, and I think this is its own percent. I don't think this is any percent. Uh, I'm not sure what it was when it first came out, if it was still considered any percent, kind of like Final Fantasy VII and the Yuffie skip is considered uh, any percent. Or I'm just going to show you guys that no trans bars. But I don't think this is, I, I think it's its own category and any percent is still all the bosses and everything else, kind of like what the PlayStation version has. So if you're running with somebody and you're racing with somebody, uh, let's say they, they're they playing on the PlayStation version just for whatever reason and you're playing on the PC version and you guys are running any percent, you should not do this glitch. Or I guess it's not really a glitch. I don't know what it's considered. Uh, I think it's just menu buffer abuse. So it's not really a glitch. But obviously I wouldn't do this because obviously your times will be completely different. As you can see we have no trans bars here. I just wanted to show that off. But anyway. Hopefully you guys learned something. Let me know down below if you guys still have any questions about it. I have no problem answering them the best that I can. Like I said, I'm not the one that discovered this. I don't know who went out of their way to figure out that you can frame or menu buffer past bosses. Uh, that seems like something that's crazy to keep attempting until you figure it out. I don't know. But anyway, let me know down below if you guys have any questions about it. I can answer it the best I can. And thanks for watching, guys. And see you on the next video. Later.